Hi, welcome to another edition of TV Set. This one, this show is a special one. Um, a, a hero of mine and a hero of everyone in the room, I'm sure. Uh, Pete Seeger passed away uh, recently, and we wanted to all gather here and to commemorate him and to uh, to honor his life um, with song. And so, uh, my guests that I have with me are the Portland Folk Song Society. How do I do? Close enough. <laughs> 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 Folk singing. Well, we okay. <laughs> anyway, I got at least two words right. So uh, they, they're all here, and we're going to do uh, more or less a, a hoot nanny style um, show, uh, going around the circle, singing songs in honor of Pete. Some of them written by Pete. Some of them sung by Pete. Um, and so, um, if you have a guitar at home or a uke or whatever you want, uh, why don't you pull it out and sing along with us? So I think we'll have a good time. <laughs> So um, I just want to say uh, just briefly about Pete that um, I was not aware what a profound effect he had had on my life until I saw a documentary about him and I found out that he was one of the most important people to create the folk music revival which was my introduction to, to music. And because of what he did, I learned all these great old American traditional songs which I sang to my children which they are now singing to their children. So. What, what more can I say about that? Um, so I want to uh, play a, a song that Pete uh, wrote. He took the words from Ecclesiastes. Uh, it's called Turn, Turn, Turn. To everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to laugh. A time to gain, a time to lose, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time to love, a time to hate, a time for peace. I swear it's not too late. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, you folks here. I think we can, I can kind of manage the, the mic here for you guys. Do you want to introduce it? So I believe this was originally a Quaker hymn that I think Pete modified a little bit. And uh, it's How Can I Keep From Singing.
Whilst to that rock I'm clinging, since Lord is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? When tyrants tremble in their fear and hear their death knell ringing, when friends rejoice both far and Very nice. Maybe we could kind of uh, pass the, the mic on down. Wonderful. This is a uh, Phil Oak song that uh, Pete recorded. Um, those of you who are American men over the age of about 55 should know this by heart. And I want to dedicate <coughs> it tonight to uh, Dick Cheney, Mr. Five Deferments Cheney. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm just a typical American boy from a typical American town. I believe in God and Senator Dodd and even old Castro now. When it came my time to serve, I knew better dead than red. When I got to my old dread board, buddy, this is what I said. Sarge, I'm only 18. I got a ruptured spleen and I always carry a purse. songs that everyone, like a lot of his songs, everyone can join in. And this is called The Water is Wide. Oh, the water is wide, I cannot cross over, neither have I white wings to fly. Nah. 
Instead of doing the last verse, just go back to the first because they're similar. Barbara, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't you know it's darkest before the dawn? And this thought keeps me moving on. If we could heed these early Time is now, quite early morning. If we could heed these early warnings, the time is now, quite early morning. Well, some say humankind won't long endure. What makes them so gold on sure? I know that you who hear my singing could make those freedom bells go ringing. I know that you who hear my singing could make.
lovely. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a song by Mel Vina Reynolds that Pete covered. And, uh, you know, folk music is grassroots music. And uh, this song is about overcoming adversity. And it seems like it's an environmental song, but really she wrote it after reading Rush to Judgment, a book about the Kennedy assassination. It's called God Bless the Grass. God bless the grass that grows through the crack they roll the concrete over it and try to keep it back but the concrete gets tired of what it has to do it breaks and it buckles and the grass grows through and God bless the grass God bless the grass that grows through cement. It's green and it's tender and easily bent. But it, after a while, it lifts up its head, for the grass is living, the stone is dead. And God bless the grass. God bless the truth that fights for the sun. They roll the lies over it and think that it is done. But it moves through the ground and reaches for the air. And after a while, it's growing everywhere. And God bless the grass. God bless the grass that's gentle and low. Its roots, they are deep and its will is to grow. And God bless the truth, the friend of the poor, and the wild grass growing by the poor man's door. And God bless the grass. This is a song that I just happened on recently, though Pete wrote it a long time ago for a friend uh, who died. And he said there weren't any good funeral songs, and so he needed to write one for this person. Um, I'm going to sing a line of this, and I'd like you to sing it back to me. The guitar is just so we can stay in the same place, so. To my old brown earth, to my old brown earth, and to my old blue sky, and to my old blue sky, last few molecules of I. I now give these last few molecules of I. And you sing, and you Guard well our human chain. Watch well what you keep it strong. Watch well you keep it strong. As long as the sun do shine. As long as the sun do shine. Keep 
pure and sweet and green. Keep pure and sweet and green. For now I'm yours. For now I'm yours. And you are also mine. And you Dave Macon song which Pete Seeger used to do and I credit Pete Seeger for getting me into old time music and uh, you know, there's several couples here that met through music and uh, I'm sure there's lots of children that have been born thanks to music and uh, we're not talking rhythm method here but uh, anyway um, the song is but he won't roll down the line and it was written having to do with coal miner strikes when they brought the prison scabs in Way back yonder in Tennessee, released the convicts out. They worked them in the coal mines against free labor stout. Free labor rebelled against it, twin it took some time. But while the lease was in effect, they made them rise and shine. But he won't you roll down the line, but he won't you roll down about uh, halfway through the show I just wanted to uh, address the, the folks that may have just tuned in and let them know that uh, you are watching TV set aiding and abetting the progressive community since 1991 Woo! and we are that's some of us are right here, and um, but not all of us are right here. Uh, and so I, this this is a special show in honor of, of the life of Pete Seeger, um, and I, and I'm sure everyone here feels really lucky that we were able to live during, share our lives during the time that he was alive. And uh, so this is the Portland folk music. System. Perfect. <laughs> I couldn't have said it. I should have said it better how many, myself. How many folk music people does it take to get it right? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least two in this case. So um, anyway, uh, uh, I want to welcome you to the to the sing along here. Like I said before, if you have a, a guitar, banjo, or ukulele at home, or if you just want to sit and sing along with us in honor of Pete Seeger's life, uh, we welcome you to do that. So we're going to continue on around this circle, hoot nanny style, and. Mary Rose, what you got for us? Well, I'd like to sing uh, another Malvina Reynolds song, like John did. 
Uh, Malvina Reynolds was introduced to our country by Pete Seeger. He invited her to his television show on PBS uh, way back in the, what, 70s? Rainbow Quest, 60s? right? 60s, yes. yes. you know, yes. other people know it better than I do. <laughs> and this song is called, It Isn't Nice. It's about standing up in the face, speaking truth to power. to block the doorway. It is a nice to go to jail. There are nicer ways to do it. But the nice ways always fail. It is a nice, it is a nice. You told us once, you told us twice. But if that is freedom's price, we don't mind. It is a nice to carry banners or to sit in on the floor. against terrorism business. And she took that song and she made this verse, which I think is a good verse to carry on the folk tradition. It is a nice to get surveillance. Oh, go on some secret list. It's not nice to be harassed by cops and called a terrorist. It is a nice, it is a nice. We told you once, we told you twice. Must repression be the price of speaking out? Must repression be the price of speaking out? Last time. Must repression be the price of speaking out? Thank you. Very relevant. <laughs> yep. Well, this. This song is uh, titled Die Gedanken sind frei, and that's German for thoughts are free. The rest of it's in English. <laughs> Can someone give me a C, please? Die Gedanken sind frei, my thoughts freely flower. Die Gedanken sind frei, my thoughts give me power. No scholar can map them, no hunter can trap them, no man can deny. Die Gedanken sind frei. I think as I please, and this gives me pleasure. My conscience decrees, this right I must treasure. My thoughts will not cater to duke or dictator. No man can deny the Gedankens in fry. Tyrants can take me to, tyrants can take me and throw me in prison. My thoughts will burst forth like blossoms in seasons. Foundations may crumble and structures may tumble, but free men shall cry. So I was one of those lucky children to grow up on Pete's music, um, among others, but 
is very much so. And I also had the good fortune to see him perform before I even knew I was seeing him perform. But I do remember seeing him perform in the auditorium of my elementary school when I was in second grade and in my high school auditorium when I was in 10th grade in 1982. And he played this song among others. And I chose this song because it's another one that unites cultures. Guantanamera comes from the the chorus is from a traditional son cubano, which, which means Cuban folk song. And the verses are from a very long poem by Jose Martí, who was a revolutionary poet, who, like many of those revolutionary poets, was killed by the government. And he wrote it in sort of collaboration with a Cuban musician named uh, Julian Orman, I think. And it's short, <laughs> Guantanamera. <coughs> and so I was going to do all three verses and repeat the last verse and then repeat the chorus because it's short and I don't know who else here speaks Spanish. So. You can sing along. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Translate it? Yeah. It says, 
I'm a sincere man from where the palm trees grow, and before I die, I want to share the verses from my soul. The second verse is, my verses are clear green, my verses are burning red, my verses are a wounded fawn that's seeking shelter in the wild grass in the mountains. And the last verse is, with the poor folks of the earth, I want to throw my luck. And the canyons and the mountains please me more than the ocean. And Guantanamera means people from Guantanamo. <laughs> <laughs> You be set free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Libertad para Guantanamo. Okay. Um, I had one brief uh, Pete Seeger song, that, or Seeger story that I want to tell. This is my, I never met him, I never saw him in concert. But this is as close as I got. I was stationed in the Air Force in uh, Mississippi. Uh, I hated it. Uh, there was a town next, uh, in the next town I used to go. And I found this family. They were very nice. And I used to go and spend time there because they weren't the Air Force. And so I, I took my, my banjo and my piece of your banjo book down. And I was sitting on its rock by this house in, in, in this little interesting little community, which I won't go into, playing my banjo. And the matron of the community comes walking around the edge of the building. She says, Oh, there used to be a young airman by the name of Peter Seeger, who used to sit on that very rock and sing that song. <laughs> but you know, I think you have a better voice. <laughs> how those how those Mississippians do flatter. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do have a fine voice. So um, God bless you. I'm gonna I'm gonna play. Uh, as close as I ever was able to get uh, a song that he it was an instrumental uh, called uh, Living in the Country. And um, I, I listened to it more recently and I realized that there's a lot of stuff that he did that I didn't quite get. And he whistled harmony while he right. played. So my respect only grows for him. Thank you, Pete. So, Warner, is it okay if we do Well Made the World Go oh, on the sure. sheet you handed out? I love that song. Everybody know it? Anybody know Somebody it? Else know the tune. Know the tune? <laughs> no, some yeah. of the words. Yeah. Yeah. Well may the world go, the world go, the world go. Well may the world go when I'm far away. Well may the skiers turn, the swimmers churn, the lovers burn. Peace may the generals learn when I'm far away. Chorus. Well may the world go, the world go, the world go. Well may the world go when I'm far away. Sweet may the fiddle sound, the banjo play, the whole hold down. Dancers swinging round and round when I'm far away. Well may the world go, the world go, the world go. Well may the world go when I'm far away. Fresh may the breezes blow, clear may the streams flow. Blue above, green below when I'm far away. Well may the world go, the world go, the world go. Well may the world go when I'm far away. I'm going to pass the, uh, the mic on around there. Do you have another one? Sure. 
Um, I have to thank Pete also for introducing me to the banjo, and those of you who play the banjo will remember his Little Red Book. Yes. Uh. And I spent many and many an hour tormenting my roommates, <laughs> and I never parents. made it past the section on claw hammer banjo, um, which was fine with me. And uh, this is a song that uh, that Pete recorded. It's a sing along. Don't you weep, don't you moan. Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you moan. There goes on the rock round it. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. If I could, I surely would stand on the rock where Moses stood. Very good. Very good. Are we doing circles? I guess we're kind of going around the circle here. You can give us a high sign uh, on you. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I, I don't have a song, but would a quick story be okay? Yeah, sure. sure. Uh, I used to live in New York City, and my family was in Connecticut, and it seemed always to be, I seemed always to be rushing. And one day when I was heading out to see my family, I said, I'm not rushing anymore. I will catch whatever train I catch. The trains were an hour apart on Sundays, so uh, that was, it was a big step for me. <laughs> but I did finish what I needed to do. I just bought a banjo, uh, didn't play it very well, but I took my banjo with me, got to Grand Central, and I had just missed a train. So I sat myself down next to a wall in the big main area and started playing. And because I didn't play very well, I was focused. And I looked up and I got, gathered a small crowd. <laughs> and I said, I, I really don't know the banjo very well. And they all said, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> and one fellow slipped away. And I thought, well, scared him off. And a little while later, he came back and he said, when I was in between songs, did you know that Pete Seeger's in town? I mean, no, Pete Seeger's here. And I said, you mean here in town giving a concert? He said, no, I mean he's on the other side of the station. He and his wife are sitting on their luggage, waiting for the train, and he's playing. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> so I picked up my stuff, and off we went and arrived, and sure enough, there was a bigger crowd. <laughs> and uh, the, the fellow who brought me over said, here's the girl I was telling you about. <laughs> oh. Steve said, great, would you like to play a song? And I said, thank you, I'd really rather hear you play a song. And he was, it was very low key. He just played, uh, played a few songs. Eventually his train came, their train came, and Pete and Tashi got on the train and off they went. And I went and caught my train out to my family and I thought, if this isn't, the universe telling me, slow down. <laughs> Gifts will come. I don't know what else. Yeah, so that's, that's my story. Okay, I think everybody assumed that somebody else would lead this song. I know I did. Um, so we'll... we'll uh, this is probably Pete's best known song. Let's see. How about an A here? Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? Young girls. 
victim, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the young girls gone? Long time passing. This is, um, well, the only thing I need to know is what key I was going to do this in. I think it was here. Let me see. This is a song written by Tommy Sands, and uh, after he wrote it, he, uh, with great trepidation, played it for Pete Seeger, and when he finished playing it, Pete looked at him, and he looked at Pete, and he said, well. And Tommy Sands said, well, well what? And Pete said, where's the rest of it? A song that good needs more verses. <laughs> so so um, this it's called The Music of Healing. Uh, you're welcome to join me if you know it, and I'll run the chorus by you when I get to it. So well, let's, let's do this again one more time. What no? Don't beat the drums that frighten the children. Don't sing the songs about winning and losing. Come sit down beside me, the green fields are bleeding. This you can sing on. Sing me the music of healing. The, sing me the song of a lover returning. The darker the night, the nearer the morning. Bring me the news of a new day that's dawning. Sing me the music of healing. And this is the chorus. Oh, hearts of wonder, 
Stronger than the guns of thunder Even when we're torn asunder Love will come again Do that one more time with me. Oh, the hearts of wonder Stronger than the guns of thunder Even when we're torn asunder Love will come again Sometimes the truth's like a hair in the cornfield. You know that it's there, but you can't put your arms around it. All you can hope for is to follow its footprints. Sing me the music of healing. How would have thought I could be so contented to learn I was wrong after all of my rambles. I've learned to be hard and I've learned how to tremble. Sing me the music of healing. Oh, love's a wonder. Heart's a wonder. Stronger than the guns of thunder. Even when we're torn asunder, love will come again. Somehow the cycle of vengeance keeps turning Till each other's sorrows and songs we start learning Peace is the prize for those who are daring Sing me the music of healing Time is your friend, it can heal all your sorrows But how can I wait for another tomorrow? One step today and a thousand will follow. Sing me the music of healing. Oh, the hearts of wonder, stronger than the guns of thunder. Even when we're torn asunder, love will come again. Oh, the hearts of wonder, stronger than the guns of thunder, even when we're torn asunder, love will come again. Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much. That was a beautiful song. We're getting very close to the end of the show. We've got about two more minutes, and so I would like to end with this land is your land and um, I believe we're going to get some of the uh, forbidden verses uh, we're going to get yes. those right up front get those lined out so if you'll be the verse liner that would be great and see anybody wants to play along is great banjos guitars rowdy voices this land is your land this land is my
We did get the two forbidden verses in. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> good. I want to thank everybody for coming out. It was really been great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. you bet. <laughs> we'll have